Chili Pepper Taste Test. Pick a board and see what happens. La 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 la. Welcome to Peppers mm. Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> <coughs> All right, I guess this will be my Christmas special, although I am recording this on December uh, 11, uh, 2021. And I have my first ripe berry of the Ahi Charipa F2, uh, my latest attempt to create a small fruited super hot chili pepper. And um, this is a cross between an Ahi Charapita and a Carolina, Reaper, a Carolina Reaper of the chocolate variety. And I think uh, you can see the chocolate part of it in the coloration of the fruit. It's not really red, it's more of a brownish red. And um, this is one of three berries that were on the specimen, the only specimen that produced fruit uh, this year of the F2 generation. And this one is the first one to ripen. The others uh, look already kind of similar, but I am quite sure that this one should be ripe by now. Um, yeah, uh, I think I will try the whole fruit without having a look inside beforehand. Um, I may extract some seeds from my mouth, uh, but maybe not. I still have, as I mentioned, the two other berries on the fruit. And um, Yeah, I am already a bit late. So I guess I will just try it and we shall see. The, the F1 genera generation was uh, quite delicious, uh, not quite as hot as I was hoping, but um, it was uh, quite promising. And now for the first fruit of the F2 generation. Alright, for some spooky lighting. Mm. Ah. I was going to sing, oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. But sadly, there is very, very little heat. But I, <coughs> I guess the reason for this could be, or very likely is, that um, while it was ripening at the very, very end of the vegetation period, the days were getting short, it had no artificial light or anything. Yeah, um, yeah, the, the heat is wah, even below Cayenne, certainly, not very hot at all. The taste also wasn't as good as the F1 generation, but not, not bad, but I can't really define it. It was a bit sweet, a bit fruity, 
no hint of bitterness or habanero aroma. But uh, sadly not very remarkable, but maybe that's just because it was already late in the season and I had this expectation already I mentioned in my last video. So yeah, <clears throat> just like Christmas, a big letdown. Hmm. But um, I will keep the plant, of course, and its brethren and sisters, or of course a chili pepper is both, so it doesn't care about gender definitions, it's simply both. Um, and maybe uh, when the sun is back, it will be more hot and tastier when fruits ripen then. But um, yeah, uh, I did have already. Um, um, I have decided to name the specimens that uh, are potential candidates for continuing my, my breeding breeding program, and I've decided to call uh, this specimen a uh, winterberry. Because, uh, especially after this taste test, taste test uh, this is the most remarkable quality about it. It had fruits that were ripening in winter without any artificial light or anything. So maybe it's uh, especially suited for this kind of um, growing conditions. But maybe it's just, uh, it's just good luck that it uh, was a little bit ahead of its uh, siblings. Ah, siblings, that's uh, gender neutral. Nice. <laughs> uh, right. Um, yeah, okay, just uh, rambling on again, so I guess I will end this video now, and um, like I mentioned, just like Christmas, a bit of a letdown on the whole, but um, that's what happens sometimes when you breed in chili peppers, it can't always be um, very good. Or that's a downer ending. Merry Christmas, everyone! Stay frosty. Have an ice day. The snow must go on. Alright. <laughs>